Okay, welcome to Phil N's video blog on wiping and imaging systems. We're going to start with the overview of the capability of the system I'm going to describe and uh, in later videos dig it down into what's actually involved in building and making them, getting them to work. <clears throat> so, we can boot from the network or a USB. The simplest is the USB, but I'll be showing you later how to set up the network boot server. The intention what we're trying to do here is do a clean install of a Windows 10 master image containing all the settings and apps that your organization requires. Creating a master image involves discussions with stakeholders about exactly what you want. Um, first point is build this on a vanilla hardware system that doesn't have any funny drivers like sophisticated audio systems. We use Dell Precision 3260 desktops. If your organization just has a couple of system types, perfect, just use them. Um, we, on the other hand, have a large variety of systems, and uh, so we can't do that. So I'm just going to show you a... This is a master system, or gold system, and it's got applications that... Uh, um, have been pre-installed. It's um, quite big. So I'll quick look at this. 66 gigabytes. Um, that's because some of the applications are overly large. Let's see. Um, when it's captured, which is what we're going to do next, it um, is compressed and does go down to about sort of 30. 35 or something. Um, we have several master um, images, as, as I imagine every organization would. Um, we've got Windows Pro and Windows Core, um, all got the same applications, and then we have one that doesn't have any applications at all, just a plain um, Windows 10. Now, um, the idea is that all the applications are ready, the system has been cleaned up, so you can see, for instance, uh, <coughs> we've decided to remove all the tiles. There's quite a lot of apps that have been taken away. There is, if you look down here in the bottom right corner, you'll see there's no news or weather apps or anything like that. You really don't need them, in, in my opinion. It's just, um, just as easy to use your phone for that sort of information. Um, the there's Chrome installed. Um, we've uh, cleared the history in that. Sort of home page goes to our home page. Um, <coughs> but the uh, the key thing is uh, is Windows Update. So basically, we've installed all the updates so that the image is completely up to date. And every time updates come out on Patch Tuesday, we um, snag another image. That means that when you're installing it, the um, install goes really quickly and doesn't have to um, run Windows Update and do any, um, you know, any of these, well, like this one, cumulative update is obviously going to come down the pipe shortly. Um, when it does, we'll, um, and it, it stops being an optional quality update, we'll install it so that um, you don't have to when you're actually building the systems. Um, that's a kind of key um, key reason. So we do capture these images uh, monthly, and um, what I'm going to do now is show you how we do that. Okay, so I'm now going to pause the video while we reboot this system. This is this is the uh, system with the master um, install on it. I'm going to reboot this system into Windows pre-execution environment. Hold tight. To capture the image, we're going to boot off the network because uh, we're going to have to save the image to the file server um, when we capture it. So this is... I'm going to go to imaging and boot it. Now notice it's... Um, Using HTTP for the boot.wim, that's because it's considerably faster than the default TFTP. Um, 
and now it's going to start Windows Pixie uh, running a startnet script which first of all initializes the network that's loading all the drivers it then pings the server just to make sure the drivers are up and running um, this one's pretty quick some machines can be a bit slower and then we missed it it mounts a share um, and you get into the uh, installation menu so we're gonna um, go to <clears throat> go to the DOS prompt and in here there are um, capture.command which which will capture the image um, the first image and then there's an append which will append the second image now these images are compressed so the second image also um, uh, doesn't store duplicate files um, as we were saying the image is about 65 gigs um, when it's captured it's down to about 35 and the second append um, will we'll add a little bit bring it up to about 45 so um, just show you how capture works Sorry, I was <laughs> dreaming there. So, um, the way Capture works is it looks um, in a file called version um, to uh, identify which to identify which is the current um, image that's being uh, well used in production. So it captures this image into a second uh, directory, so it doesn't interfere with any of the production going on. Um, and it does that just by saying, well, if it ends in one, go to, you know, save it in two, and vice versa. Um, then it uh, it has a look to see what's um, you know what system you're currently on. Now, if you can imagine having these master systems um, stacked on top of each other using a um, keyboard, video, mon um, mouse, switch, it's it's important that you get the right system that you know, the one that you actually do need to capture uh, it's quite um, quite easy to get muddled up um, so we get the, we get the image info and uh, display it uh, and then we capture it and there's the capture command in DISM pretty simple it's uh, it's going to stick it it's going to capture obviously installed at one and stick it in the proper directory now the the directory or drive actually that it's going to capture um, in pixie the c drive sort of becomes the d drive so if we had a look at d <coughs> it sort of looks like you'd expect with sort of windows program files users things like that um, So um, only remains to set the thing off and uh, wait for the image to be captured. So capture. There we are. So it's now saying that the current edition is professional, and uh, just out of habit, we always capture the professional ones first, and then the core one we append. Um, and this is the full uh, master image. Um, so the answer is, is this the one you want to capture? Yes, and it will proceed and capture. So I'll um, stop the video here and the next time we'll show you how to use the um, captured image to install a master image on a, um, a new machine or a, a different machine. Okay, that's, uh, that's it. I'll see you next time.